Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Today we are going to create e-commerce shop promo part 3, if you haven't watched part 2, check the link in the description. In the next tutorial, we are going to animate our final promo video. This is the part 3, so make sure to follow along with the next tutorial, so you can make that kind of animations. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects. Open the project file from the link in the description. Let's copy our base from slide 2. Make a new composition 1920 by 1080 pixel. And I will call this slide 3. Paste base layer here. Select Ellipse Tool. Set Stroke to None. Import the color palette. And choose a nice color something like this. Let's make a circle by 800 and 800 pixel. Let's apply set matte effect. Go to take matte from layer, and choose our base layer, so this will only visible inside our base layer. Reposition and scale something like this. I will duplicate the shape layer to make our shadow, I will change the color of the duplicate layer to black, and apply fast box blur effect. Adjust some parameters, set the blur reduce to 60%. Open the scale property of our shadowed layer, alt click on the little stopwatch and parent with shape layer too. So if we scale our shape layer, it will automatically resize with our shape layer too. I will also reduce the opacity of shadow layer. Make a keyframe for the scale around 20 frames. Go to beginning of the animation, and set the scale value to 0%. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. Now open the graph editor, and make your speed graph something like this. I will duplicate the shape player to one more time and adjust the scale and color. At around 13 frame open the opacity. Set a keyframe and go 10 frames forward and change the opacity value to Our base is ready now, let's import our product image, in this case this is a chair, you're free to choose your own images. Scale and reposition this chair. Move the anchor point to the bottom of our image, and duplicate this, and stretch the image something like this, we are going to use this image as our shadow. Let's apply fast box blur, and change the blur radius to 150%. Apply fill effect, 
and change the color to black. And also change the blending mode to multiply. Let's adjust the opacity of the shadow around 35%. Parent the shadow layer with original image, so it will move along with our original image. Around 12 frames, make keyframe for scale and rotation, go few frames forward, and copy the same keyframe. Move 3 frames forward and copy the same keyframe. For the second keyframe set scale to 30% and the rotation to minus 4%. Now go back to the starting frames, set the rotation value to 41% and the scale to 0%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them, now select the rotation keyframes and offset them a few frames. Open the graph editor, and make your graph something like this. So the animation will start faster and end slower. Select the text tool, and type our product name. Change the color to match our brand color, and also adjust the font size. Let's copy the date and release date text from our previous composition. and paste in slide 3. I will move the release date at the right bottom corner, and I have changed the text color to black, you are free to choose your own settings. Let's copy the description text from our previous composition. and paste it here. Also I will copy the price and then shape line that cut the old price, from our previous composition. And paste it here. Select our main text, and apply the slow fade on effect. I will remove the old keyframe from our description text, and let's supply the same effect that we have applied for our main text layer. I will crop the composition around 10 seconds.
reposition our main text and description. Make a small rounded rectangle with the help of shape tool, and set the roundness to 8%. I am using 5 pixel stroke with a different color, you are free to choose your own settings. Set the scale value to 75%. Let's open the scale and rotation properties, insert keyframes, go few frames forward, and set the same keyframes, go three frames forward and make same keyframe. For the second frame set the rotation value to 8%, and scale to 78%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Now I will duplicate this box for two more times. And remove the fill from the last two boxes. Now offset each layer a few frames. I'm using three frames offset, you are free to choose your own settings. I will adjust the timing of boxes. Also adjust key frames of our price. Let's change the price to some random values. You are free to choose your own price. In the next tutorial we are going to combine these three slides, that we have made in our previous tutorials, so make sure to stay tuned for next tutorial. Check the animation, and we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please, hit the like button, and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. This is Motion Studio, and I will see you in the next video.